here is something that I think I may have invented some years ago. I've been looking around and couldn't see anything like it ever since. So it's just a steward platform, but it has a unique configuration which makes it statically determinate. It uses only hinges, no shoulder connections. It uses hinges which are aligned to share the same center of rotation, making a universal joint. And uh, yeah, you can see a 3D drawing. It is using small motors and this prototype can be 3D printed. I have these uh, drawings on my Patreon, just in case someone wants to access those. Um, and the entire design is built to be super glued or uh, hot glued together. As you can see, all the joints are just kind of open and wiggly, uh, which should make it possible to 3D print this even with a poor quality printer and uh, very little material is used, one millimeter thick parts. So it's cheap. I imagine uh, students or classrooms could use this to illustrate the six degree of freedom motion that a steward platform can generate. And because it's statically determinate, you can disconnect a leg and move it. So the loads are always distributed on the legs and each leg can move independently. You don't have to rely on complex uh, synchronizing of the legs. You can just move each leg one leg at a time, which is a unique feature of statically determinate configuration. Uh, normally, what I see people do is uh, they have this kind of over-restrained configuration where the legs uh, interact with each other. So you could damage the joints. And uh, because this is uh, configured in statically determinate configuration, you can uh, experiment without breaking it. And uh, it took me about one hour to glue this thing together with hot glue. It's a fun process. You can see the bottom hinges are being installed and it's all flimsy. It's a very low tolerance build and the parts just snap together again you can access them on the patreon and this universal joint is special because it connects technically three hinges into one configuration and uh, i ordered this components to be printed online and I will add the link in the description to the service I used. It cost me around $30 to get this raisin printed. Raisin has very good tolerances. The parts are, they look like they have been injection molded. And uh, the way I fit the joints is I have these tiny five millimeter uh, cylinders that have an edge on one side and the other side is just hot glued in place so in case a connection is inserted backwards and something goes wrong you can just scratch off the hot glue and uh, everything just falls apart again so it is very very low maintenance and very easy to assemble And uh, when I was filming this, I didn't really look at the camera. It's an amateur mistake. You can see these two pieces come together and they get inserted into this hinge. Again, hot gluing in place, the pivot. And I decided to show the whole assembly process in case someone wishes to attempt building one of these things. 
and uh, you can also modify the drawings I would suggest doing that making your own drawings for example right here where I connect the lead screw um, right now the cavity in the leg is technically big enough so the screw can go all the way in but the shaft is actually very thin and it would make sense to use that length of the leg to stabilize the shaft uh, instead of only holding the screw I mean yeah that's a potential design flaw uh, it, it was just made only for the purpose of testing the thing in practice and the size of it is about 20 centimeters by 20 and the legs have been designed to move between an angle of 40 well, 90 degrees and uh, 30 degrees so fully contracted legs make a 90 degree angle as you can see here and when the legs are fully extended the angle drops to 30 degrees so it makes trigonometry easier you can calculate the loads on the legs with simple calculations that way I will discuss the engines used later in the video and you can see everything is hot glued in place all the components have holes where the glue can go in and the other components snap on like this pivoting hinge so you don't need any special tools at all to assemble it and the top plate is the same as the bottom plate so the parts are interchangeable and here this is the first time the model is actually standing on all three legs now I will hot glue the top pieces in place and uh, the nice thing is that once the glue cools down you rotate the piece and the glue disconnects on the bottom so the glue itself acts as a kind of a sliding surface and all the pieces can rotate freely then and it's relatively rigid, rigid enough I intentionally made the surface exaggerated so that the sliding surface is more visible so in essence you could make this whole thing using simple ball bearings and the motors are these tiny made in China linear actuators 6 millimeter screw 10 millimeter engine so they are very tiny and uh, one thing I noticed is they become super hot when they are running I'm running them with a 5 volt drive and the, they have around 5 centimeters of length linear actuators and you can see here I'm putting some back and forward motion just to show how it looks in action so the screw can fall off but because the structure is so redundant that will not cause any problems I'm thinking of adding some contact uh, detections at fully contracted range just to zero down the position and that way blindly stepper control the position and the motion is not very strong but it is enough to move this platform for just showing off the kinematics of the structure I'm using an Arduino 
and some um, generic stepper driver and the 5 volts from Arduino is enough it actually makes the engine very hot later you will see that it actually gets so hot that it melts the glue so maybe epoxy would be a way to go but for now it will do yeah the camera doesn't focus so well so there's a manual phase shifting the plus 5 and minus 5 a zero and plus five for the power supply and then enable and phase one and phase two active picking and here is a demonstration of one leg being moved again showing off this unique feature of statically determinate configuration that you can move one leg at a time and I don't have the code for running all the legs at once it hasn't been tested fully you can see the glue is actually melting due to the engine getting so hot but it is not melting the raisin which is nice I'm thinking if I should uh, just maybe tighten it with some wire instead of the glue but I was surprised that I'm able to run it quite fast stepper motors lose power when they, the motion becomes fast so at higher RPM you would expect to lose some position but that didn't happen And right now the code is taking two parameters in, a number of steps and time intervals between steps. So it just has a four stages of a phase in loading and it moves forward and backward through those phases with a time delay between each step. And if the leg falls off, that's not an emergency. You can technically just screw it back in. Because again, statically determinate system. I think a structure like this could be very useful for learning to code kinematics in six degrees of freedom could also be used in some artificial intelligence applications and this fast forward shows off what it would look like if the engines were actually all connected you can truly run all six degrees of freedom with this